Hey friend, welcome back. So in today's session, let's talk a little bit more about the many health benefits of magnesium and then talk about the specific brain-based benefits of magnesium l 3 nate which is the only form of magnesium that's been shown to increase brain levels of magnesium that can help with memory consolidation and synaptic plasticity within the brain. So first, let's just start off with what the heck is the big deal about magnesium and all the different forms and a little tip that I like to share with my clients. So magnesium is a cofactor involved in over 350 plus enzymatic reactions. So I'm not going to go into all the different reactions. There's a, a bunch of different reactions. I recommend going to google.com forward slash scholar. It's like PubMed, but a little easier to find. And you can find loads of articles. But when, we, when you hear about magnesium, what you really want to focus in on is what is it chelated to? Uh, because magnesium is a, is a cation. It's a positively charged metal, essentially. So it's a mineral that needs an anion. And it turns out that this anion actually impacts the bioavailability. Uh, and in the context specifically of l 3 nate because it's related to vitamin C ascorbic acid, uh, l 3 nate has been shown to actually increase absorption of cations like magnesium. And a little small tip, we're gonna talk more specifically about this. This is why I recommend taking magnesium l 3 nate on an empty stomach away from food. Because if you do have, say, heavy metals in the food or what have you, you can actually inadvertently absorb some of those positively charged cations such as magnesium, but also maybe something like lead or mercury or cadmium, right? So keep that in mind. But let's focus on what are the other common forms of magnesium that you may want to consider or you might want to avoid. Well, I generally recommend uh, focusing on, let's just draw a little space in there. So magnesium glycinate, magnesium oxide, magnesium carbonate, magnesium gluconate, magnesium malate. There's so many different forms, okay? What you want to focus on, my friends, is what is it, magnesium or any mineral, what is it chelated to? And what are the health benefits of that chelated agent, right? That anion. Well, let me just go over here. So we know that glycine, glycine, as you know, I'm not the best dryer. So glycine is good. Magnesium glycinate overall good. Because what does glycine do after it, after it ionizes away from magnesium? Well, it's involved in phase, phase one detoxification, phase two detoxification. It's involved in helping synthesize inhibitory neurotransmitters like GABA. So that's all good. What about malate? Well, uh, malic, malic acid, okay? So it's usually dimagnesium malate. Malic acid, a Krebs cycle intermediate. It's involved in carbohydrate metabolism, cellular energy production. All good. Okay, what about gluconate? What are the health benefits of gluconate? What about oxide? I can't really think of a lot of health benefits of magnesium oxide. What about propionate? I don't even know what propionate does in the body, right? So the point is, when you think about a mineral, what it's chelated to, you generally want to also ensure that that chelating agent has health benefits. And before we go on, I wanna focus on, on, on a magnesium citrate as a way to sort of empty the bowels, but first I just wanna welcome you all back. It's Mike Mutzel, as always, thank you for being here. Uh, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button, leave us a comment below. And if you wanna get a t-shirt like this or different forms of magnesium, such as magnesium malate, magnesium glycinate, or magnesium l 3 nate I will put links below to our sister company, Myoscience with an X, M-Y-O-X-E-I-E-N-C-E.com, myoscience.com, check out. You can wear shirts like this, inspire conversations at the grocery store, and support whole body health and your magnesium levels over at our sister company. So I'll put links below and coupon codes, okay? But let's talk about magnesium citrate. Magnesium citrate is in a box in and of itself because it's intended to be poorly absorbed so that it induces a bowel movement. This is one of the poorest anions because it ionizes so quickly from magnesium that you can have when it comes to magnesium because it's the lowest bioavailability of a magnesium in terms of a supplement. But that actually has some benefits if you're constipated. If you, you know, you're traveling, you have circadian rhythm disruptions, uh, you, know, you didn't get a good night's sleep and you're constipated, you can take some magnesium citrate and it will definitely help you induce a bowel movement. I don't suggest, this is a crutch. This is a tool that you use periodically not every single day. If you use a crutch every day, you're gonna be lopsided in a week. You don't wanna use this crutch every day to go to the bathroom. You can use it periodically to induce a bowel movement because it's really that bile, uh, it's so weakly 
absorbed that it actually uh, uh, attracts a lot of water in the colon and induces a bowel movement, okay? Now, let's talk about why l 3 innate paired with magnesium is so unique. Because this actually, l 3 innate actually helps magnesium get absorbed through the glute receptor. So the cellular transporter that metabolizes and it helps cells absorb glucose uh, is, is the same transporter that uh, magnesium l 3 innate utilizes to help you increase your central nervous system and brain levels of magnesium. Now, magnesium, because it's involved in so many different enzymatic reactions, it's also involved specifically in your hippocampus, which is where you consolidate and form memories. Your hippocampus, check it out, it's actually the, I think it's Greek or Latin for sea, is it seahorse? Yeah, seahorse. Check it out, it's, it's an interesting shape, that's why it's called the hippocampus, because it's shaped like a seahorse, uh, and anyway, that's where you form memories. And so when you're really stressed out, if you have micronutrient deficiencies, you can't consolidate memories, that whole plasticity and uh, brain power is, is muted, and magnesium has been shown to be helpful. So there's several clinical studies, and I just wanna pause and mention, of course, we're not talking about diagnosing, treating, curing, preventing any disease. We're talking about supporting your magnesium levels. If you're not eating healthy, whole, real foods, um, if you're pushing your body with fasting, with sauna, with exercise, you might be deficient in uh, magnesium and so forth, so you might wanna consider supplementation. But um, the magnesium l 3 nate because it is better absorbed by, by way of this glute transporter and it's the only form of magnesium that's been shown to increase brain levels of magnesium, it might be help, helpful for you know, just healthy aging and healthy brain function. Now, the downside here is there is a premium that you pay for this. It's just a raw material supplier issue. The, the people that have done the studies and the development charge a little bit more on a per kilogram basis. So you're gonna pay a little bit more. So that's where you need to ask yourself, hey look, you know, I know I can get magnesium glycinate, magnesium malate for a fairly affordable price. You know, we're talking, I don't know, $25, $30 for a 60 day supply. It's gonna be a little bit more for that for magnesium L3 and 8. So you just need to ask yourself, okay, well, what does my diet look like? What does my past health history look like going forward? You know, how much money do I wanna to allocate towards this? And you could try a two month supply of magnesium L3 and 8, excuse me, take you know, one to two grams per day. Um, that's gonna give you about 350 milligrams uh, per gram of magnesium L3 and 8 of magnesium. So again, this is part of the, uh, in that two grams, a lot of that also is L3 and 8 uh, in there, uh, which is an ascorbic acid-like molecule, okay, to increase the absorption. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, because l 3 nate has been shown to increase levels and in absorption of other cations, not just magnesium, this is why I recommend taking this more on an empty stomach. So several hours after dinner, you could do it first thing in the morning after you do your morning routine before breakfast or things like that. Because, you know, you if you have maybe a little mercury or something, maybe you have some tuna fish uh, and it have some, has some methylmercury in there and then you think, oh, well, I'm, I'm helping my brain by taking magnesium l 3 nate Well, you might inadvertently potentially absorb a little bit more potentially mercury or cadmium or what have you, you know? So don't freak out about it, but just, you know, when you can try to take this on an empty stomach. So to make a long story short, remember when you're buying magnesium, you want to think of not just how much magnesium are you getting, but what is it bound to? What are the health benefits of that chelating agent? Okay. Oxide, carbonates, gluconates, um, convince me that they're helpful, okay? But I'm a bigger fan of glycine, malate, and then l 3 nate because of its enhanced absorption, okay? Also, we know that this, uh, the research shows in humans that the magnesium l 3 nate has been shown to increase brain power without being stimulatory. So it's not gonna stimulate you like caffeine or amphetamines, but it is going to increase some of the activity within the neurons that can help with forming memory and memory consolidation and brain power. So that's it for today, my friends. I'll put links below to some of the research that we talked about and other products, but just remember, magnesium is good, but what is it bound to and what should you be looking out for in terms of the health benefits of that anion? So as always, I'm grateful that you tuned in all the way. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for sharing this video and we'll catch you in a future one down the road. Bye now.